Number 18 says to find the perimeter and the area for triangle DEF with vertices D being at 2, 4, E, 5, 7, and F at 8, 4. Show all work. You must use the distance formulas and leave all answers in simplified radical form. Don't forget to include units and units squared in your answer. Draw the polygon here. It says draw the polygon here. I'm going to go ahead and draw a coordinate plane. Everything is positive. All these numbers are positive, so I don't need to worry about anything taking place down here, over here, or over here, because that would be negative x would be up here or down here, and negative y would be down here or over here. So my x's go from 2, 5, and 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I just did a couple extra. And my y's go up to 7 is the highest. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. D will be at 2, 4, which is 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. This being my x, this being my y. And this is D. E is at 5, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This doesn't need to be perfect. We're just getting a rough estimate. And F is at 8, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4. All right. So now I'm going to find all of these distances. So the distance of DE, I will do DE here. The distance formula is the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. This is the distance formula. This will be given to you on the blue formula sheet. The midpoint will not, so you need to know the midpoint formula, but the distance formula is given to you. To find the distance of DE, that's X, that's Y, this is X and Y, and this is X and Y. DE will be, it doesn't matter which one you do, X1 and X2, so I'll do five minus two, squared plus 7 minus 4 squared. 5 minus 2 is going to give me 3, so then I have 3 squared plus 7 minus 4 will also give me 3 squared. So now 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9, plus 3 squared, which is also 9. When I add these together, I get 18, so the square root of 18. This is the distance for DE. I need to simplify my radical though. 18 is 9 times 2. 2 can't go down any farther, but 9 is 3 times 3. So I'll circle that pair. It will come outside of the radical. One of them will. And the 2 will stay on the inside. So the distance for DE is 3 square root of 2. Now I need to do EF. I will do EF. Right here. So we're going to use the distance formula again. EF is 8, 4, and 5, 7. If I do X minus X, I'll do 8 minus 5 squared plus y minus y, 4 minus 7 squared. 8 minus 5 is 3, and 4 minus 7 is going to be negative 3. If I'm going to put this in my calculator, I need to make sure that negative 3 is in parentheses. If I don't, if I do negative 3 squared. By the order of operations, my calculator did the exponent first, which is squared of 3, 
and then added the negative at the end. But if I put three in, negative three in parentheses, I'm saying negative three, that whole thing, squared, which gives me my positive nine. Anything squared will be positive. So now I get the square root of three squared, which is nine, plus negative three squared, which is also nine. That brings us back to here, where we had nine plus nine. These two match. So nine plus nine will be 18. I'll do my factor tree, circle my pair of threes, pull my three out, keep whatever is left under the radical. So the distance of EF is also three root two. Then I need to find the distance for E or DF. So for the distance of DF, I will use the distance formula. Or I could say D is at 2, 4, and um, F is at 8, 4. Since they both share this 4, I can just say to get from 2 to 8, I went straight across, which will give me a length of 6. But they told us to use the distance formula, so we can do that real quick. So the distance formula for df will be the square root, and I will do eight minus two squared plus four minus four squared. Eight minus two is going to give me six squared plus four minus four is zero. 0 squared is 0. So this becomes the square root of 6 squared. Technically, the squared and the square root will cancel each other out, but we can keep going. We can say 6 squared is 36. So the square root of 36 is 6. So df is 6. To find the perimeter, I'm just going to add all of these together. When I add these together, I have, I'll write it up here, three root two plus three root two plus six. So we need to know how to combine these. If I have three root twos in one hand and I add three more root twos, I will have a total of six root twos. We are combining like terms here. Another way that we could say it is if root two was x, this would look like three x plus three x plus six, where three x plus three x would give us six x, and then we'd put root two back in for x. So this is going to be six root two, and we'll add six, because this we can't forget about him. So three root twos plus three more root twos will give us a total of six root twos, and we'll still have six. The perimeter is a distance, so we will say units. Now we're saying which two sides are the base and the height. For the base and the height, they need to be perpendicular, so we need to check the slopes and make sure that they are opposite reciprocals, which means that they will form a right angle. To get from D to E, D is at 2, 4, and E is at 5, 7. So to get from two, I'm sorry, let me zoom out a little bit. To get the slopes, we'll do y minus y over x minus x. So that will give us our rise over our run. So if we do seven minus four over 5 minus 2, we'll get 3 over 3, which is equal to 1. So the slope of this is 1, which means when we go up 1, we'll go over 1. When we go up 1, we'll go over 1. When we go up 1, we'll go over 1. So the opposite reciprocal needs to be, instead of positive 1, it needs to be negative 1. So I will check that for EF, because these two look to be perpendicular, where this guy he doesn't seem to be perpendicular, so I'm going to check EF. I will do 
y minus y over x minus x. And if I'm doing that for EF, my y minus y, I can do, it doesn't matter which way it goes, I'll do 7 minus 4. But if I started with this 7, I now need to start with this 5. Over 5 minus 8. 7 minus 4 is 3, and 5 minus 8 is negative 3. 3 over negative 3 is negative 1. Because these are opposite reciprocals, the slopes are opposite reciprocals. That means that these sides are perpendicular. For the base and the height, those must be perpendicular to each other. So which sides are the base and the height? DE and EF. The area, we're going to multiply DE and EF together. So that's going to be this one and this one. If I do 3 root 2 times 3 root 2, I can multiply what's under the radical together, and I can multiply what's outside together. So 3 times 3 will give me 9, square root of 2 times 2, which is 4. We know that the square root of 4 is 2, because 2 times 2 gives us 4, so this is the same as saying 9 times 2, which is going to give us 18 units squared.